Hey, Park Lane Worldwide, welcome to the News at Noon. It's week 20, Friday, May 18th, Saturday down under. Uh, many of you have seen online, if you're part of our social media groups, the preview of the photo shoot for our new catalog coming in August. That's exciting. Listen, tomorrow, and if you're down under, the wedding, the royal wedding is at 9 p.m. But if you know anybody who's having a get-together, you should bring the crown jewels to show. You should put a bag and just unroll jewelry. And listen, these instant stylings can be the most successful. So hope somebody takes advantage of that. Post your great results. $300. If you have 300 sales this week, you're in the drawing. It occurs this afternoon, Friday here in the U.S., Saturday down under. Time for an international winner. You can guarantee your award during our Founders Month. In honor of our founder, Arthur Levine Sr., a partner with Shirley who started Park Lane 63 years ago now, there's an amazing consistency contest. And if you've done these numbers every week, you're going to earn an amazing gift card and be part of, a, part of a Founders Month club. So you can be there. And a lot of this stuff is introduced, recognized, supported at convention. You're going to hear a big push from me now on convention in the coming weeks because, you know, it's really the single greatest thing we do at Park Lane. And your registration includes convention, the Saturday awards banquet, all the great training, and there's an incredible one. Friday is a theme party in the atrium of this beautiful hotel. You have the ability to earn all kinds of amazing jewelry awards. And that and Founders Weeks are all occurring right now as we lead up to convention. Now, you could earn your airfare free by registering this week for convention. And the wheel back here, we're gonna talk about how all of you who are registered or registered are gonna be in a special wheel drawing. The whole convention attendance event is just full of great things for you. It's the greatest invest investment you can make in your business. And the fun thing this year is the team attendance suite. Your franchises will all know what their goal is. When you make that goal and you're in attendance at convention, the whole team, your whole franchise gets to go up to the Sparkle Suite and pick out an amazing ring of your choice. Now, to be part of all this fun in Orlando, you've got to register to win. That can be one of two ways. You can go to parklanejewelry.com forward slash convention. And you can register there. Now, some places down under Europe, you may not be able to use your credit card and register. So you register through your franchise owner. In franchises, you're going to need to update your registration numbers because we're going to be spinning out wheel for all the people who newly register for a convention. Lots of great things going on that you offer are your customers, and that's how you help other people get great things. Our two-by-four with a bonus item is an incredible special that continues and gets offered to every hostess. I had to put in a show this week and just see in that item that you get, that bonus item for the hostess down there, she gets just for having a $300 net qualified show and one booking. That means you've got one more thing to do in your business. This, uh, if you're doing a, a, if you're taking the jewels to show at a wedding party for the royal wedding, take a picture and put it on Instagram. This is a fun way for you to get out there and get recognition and maybe get a free gift card. Hey, 2000 this month in May, many of you have five weeks. The gelato necklace is an incredible piece of the future. And those of you are promoting it, we have lots of advancements. We're so proud of you and, and know them all. You've got that designer dreams contest in a designer bag. It's all in your network magazine. And that takes us to a very special six second shout out. We go North America to the North. And it is Karen Tolmer, senior division leader from Park Lane True North. 97%, she's got her four recruits. She Canadians, remember to add 500. It's not programmed in, but because you won the beanbag toss, and uh, Karen will be celebrating Greece. We're going to Greece. It's exciting. And many others of you are going to make it happen too. But this week, Karen, who's really leading by example, great personal volume. She's our six-second shout-out. Good job, eh? And we're in May, five weeks for almost everywhere except Europe, you're four weeks, and that takes us to our one-minute trading. Hey, we're leading up to an event next Thursday that you're going to be able to see the results of and see live. And we're part of a six-week series, and then next week, 
about driving event attendance. If you're having an event, how do you make sure you have great attendance? Now, we talk about in the first five weeks that this goes from like having a show. I learned how to do this having shows and making sure shows were great events and people were coming. And the hostess knew how to invite people up to big events now where this one, we're doing in a brand new market. We've never been here before. We really don't have any people here that are, and we're doing an event and we're gonna see if we can build attendance and make it a success. Week one, we talked about have your customer list ready. You have to do this to build an event. That's the guest list for a show. Number two, create and supply an invitation for everyone to make it easy to attend. And what that means is you have to do up an invitation, a mailed invitation, a, a something to post on Facebook. You have to make sure that your hostess knows how to invite people. This works for a big event too. Number three, you have to have stakeholders. You have to have you know three people you can count on. I used to have my hostess say, who are the three people you know are going to be at your styling that you can count on? So you create a fun event and you get stakeholders. You get guaranteed people you know are going to attend. Week four, we talked about spend twice the time rehearsing your successful event than, you, than it actually takes to do it. And we talked about the outline and the PowerPoint and all those things and making it fun. You're going to see that come to life here. This week we talked about that half your attendance happens three days before the event. That's always been the way it is. You're out there, but your connection with people. If you can and pick up the phone and call someone. I understand sometimes people don't answer, but pick up the phone, try to connect, try to talk to people. You will pick them up if you have to. But then the last three days before an event, especially nowadays with so much going on, it's really when your attendance happens. And you know, stay spectacular. I read this quote and it was worth repeating. The Gatsby show will never go out of style. If you've ever seen the great Gatsby, if you haven't watched it. Watch the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. To plan an event that's a pure pleasure for attendees, work on musical accompaniment. Always said that music makes an event, it makes a show, and it makes a big event. All mood boosters. Your goal should be to impress your guests. And that happens at a big event, it happens at a show. And I ask you the question every week, are you ready? Because when your business goes to great new heights, we're excited to help you celebrate. Thanks for watching this week's News at Noon.